In this video I'll be doing an unboxing of an Ego uh, battery powered snowblower. Uh, this has two 56 volt 5 amp hour batteries and a uh, brushless motor. It's a single stage uh, snowblower and I'll put a link in the description to this. This is available at like Home Depot mostly. Maybe available at other places too. But uh, let's get started. It's the charger. It's pretty beefy. Looks like you can hang it on the wall. This comes with two batteries and you have one charger, so if you want to charge both at the same time, you'd have to get a second charger. It's the chute. Manual. Looks like it has an Allen wrench there. And these would be the batteries. There's two of these. Okay, I'll reposition and get the snowblower over here so we can take a look at it. So here's the uh, blade here. It's a rubber blade because it's a single stage. It has LED lights on both sides. All plastic here. Uh, this is metal. Rubber and plastic there. And the chute is plastic. The batteries go in here, both batteries. So I'll, uh, I'm going to read the manual a little bit and I'll get this put together and we'll push the button and make it spin. Okay, I've got the uh, charger plugged in, and I have a battery in it. And you could probably hear there the fan was on. It sounds like the fan is variable speed. It was actually quite loud, and it got quiet. So you're probably not going to put this next to your nightstand in your bedroom to charge it up. But it has a uh, blinking indicator, 25, 50, 75, on 100 percent. So the hex wrench is for installing the chute on this. There's two hex bolts here. A little washer there. Slides in place and then the hex bolts go in place. This, this is a little bit of a pain. Uh, if you have a ball driver, it's probably easier to put these on or a ratchet. But that's the uh, chute. And there's a handle here. And when you pull this handle, it moves the chute. And I actually didn't uh, know I had this feature in the store because it did not have a display model. But I really like that. I don't want to really have to reach down and manually turn it, so that's a lot easier. While I'm waiting for the batteries to finish charging, I'll go over a couple of things I learned here reading the manual and stuff. Um, in order to fold this up, you push the lever to turn the chute and you turn, push it all the way down. Then you press the handle to tilt it down. You release these two levers and then fold it forward, like that. Yeah. And it doesn't appear you can lock this shut, um, but that's the procedure to fold it up. So, you, it uh, doesn't appear that you can, like, tilt it up forward. Let's see, if, I don't think it'll tilt backwards either. So you pretty much do have to store it flat, or you could potentially hang this. One nice thing about gas is, or, uh, battery operated is it's not going to leak gas. Um, so you could, in theory, uh, position it in different ways. Um, one thing I like about this is that at the end of the season, I can, in theory, store this in my basement and I don't have to worry about draining oil or gas out of it. Um, if I wanted to throw it in the back of a car to take it somewhere, 
I don't have to worry about it stinking up my car, things like that. Um, another thing uh, with this is that it's not going to give off gas fumes as you're using it. So if I want to go out and uh, snow blow before I head out somewhere, I can go out, clean my drive, and I'm not going to be stinking like exhaust fumes. So that's a nice feature of this. Um, this is the 5 amp hour uh, model. They do have a 7.5 amp hour model. It's the same thing with bigger batteries in it. And I could buy the battery separate. The batteries are pretty expensive, so it's better to start off with the one that you want. But I have a southern facing drive, and uh, I tend to do multiple path, light passes uh, when it's snowing, so this should keep up with my needs. Um, it's not snowing right now in Iowa in November, but it probably will be sometime. So I will try to put up a video of me using this with actual snow. And uh, when that happens, I'll put a link in the description. So if you watch this video, look at the description uh, and see if I put a link to that. So after these batteries are done charging, I will do a dry run here and we'll uh, see how it spins up. Okay, so here we have the uh, four LEDs lit up. So this battery is charged. We'll take it off the charger. So I've got the two batteries charged. I'll go over to the snowblower. I lift this lid. And there's grooves here. I set the batteries in. And then there's this tab. These are locked in. You press the tab to pull the batteries out. And it does have these uh, indicator lights. The manual tells exactly what those mean. Then I'll close it. Lift the lid up, lock the handles, it's ready to go. So I'm going to move this out of my garage. Well, I'll leave it in the garage for a second. I'll tilt this to the side so I don't shoot rocks at anything. So to uh, make this go, you, uh, I'll have to put this on my tripod here. You press the button, pull the handle back, and then release the button. So like this. When you let go of the handle, it turns off. And then there's a variable speed control over here. So you can press it, turn on. And adjust the speed. So that's kind of a neat feature. So if it's a uh, light snow and I don't need to throw it very far, I can run it at a lower speed. And uh, this should be pretty quiet to operate. So um, let's see if there's anything else I missed. Got the handle. I think that's about it. So uh, like I said earlier, I will put a link in the description if I get some video of this throwing snow. And if you have any questions so far, let me know and I'll try and answer them. So, oh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.